what's really fantastic about Stanford is that I, I kind of get to define what I see as success. I actually got to pursue my global health interests. So I was in India for six months in my second year and got to work on a research project there and build relationships with some of the nephrologists in India, uh, which I still have. What I really like about the nephrology division in particular is the ability to do collaborations that can really move everything forward. I was looking for support as a J-1 visa holder, getting a, a program to accept you to do research at the same time. It's uh, more difficult, but uh, they have been um, very supportive since I came to the program, and it has been a great experience since then. We have a lot of opportunities for multidisciplinary uh, collaboration, not just in clinical settings, but with research. For me, I study women's health, and my mentor is Dr. Richard Lafayette, and I feel really honored and blessed to be part of this rich community. Having so many women and people from different backgrounds in the leadership roles itself speaks for where the leadership stands on this issue. It is particularly encouraging for someone like me who's interested to pursue a role in academic medicine in future. I know that I would receive all the encouragement and support that I would need. At Stanford, I am only the second MedPeds candidate to come through. I felt that they had been doing this for a number of years. The transitions felt like they were seamless. There is a transplant transition clinic that the MedPeds person before me had started, and that is ongoing, and I had the privilege of working alongside Dr. Scandling and uh, was able to take ownership of that clinic. When I came to Stanford, I had no idea what I was going to do but I could find my way throughout the first two to three months. I had no experience with research. I'm doing stones with Dr. Pao, my mentor, and he has been super nice to me. Um, he's been working with me very closely and giving me a lot of feedback so I can continue learning. My experience was uh, a little different because I was pregnant uh, throughout and then I actually gave birth uh, in the later half of my first year fellowship. And you know, I was able to take uh, the amount of time off that, that I needed to recover and to bond with the baby. That's a great thing for, you know, as a first year fellow, um, you know, to have such a nurturing environment and not feeling guilty going through such a big change in your life and uh, to be surrounded with such support and care. The Bay Area is an amazing place to live in. All my family that come here, they, they really love going to San Francisco. There's every sports franchise you can imagine. We have maybe the best food scene in the world. You're just spoiled for choice. And I think you're never too far away from a good dumpling or a dosa. About two hours south of us, there's a national park called Pinnacles National Park. There's Big Sur. If you go about four hours north of here, there's Lassen Volcanic National Park. Uh, not to mention there's Yosemite to the east of here. So there's just plenty of things to do and recreate, even in the time when sheltering in place is happening. Everybody has been so supportive of me and of our group and of each other. And I, and I think the collaboration and friendliness and openness and lack of fear to present your ideas and get feedback, it's really invaluable. And I hope that you have the same experience that I did when you come. My name is Patrick Ahern. Hi, I'm Tanuja Yalamati. I'm Lauren Hickton. I'm Christy Bradshaw. Dr. Evie Okendai Apia. Hi, my name is Ruth Romero, como Latina de Ecuador. Assalamu alaikum. Mira naam Aisha hai, or me Pakistan se hu. I am Pablo Garcia. Yo soy originalmente de Guatemala. Hi, my name is Zhao Xixi. Wo hui shuo yi dian zhong wen. Hi, my name is Christian Bolaños. I've been here for a while and I've been loving uh, this fellowship every day. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.